Hello YouTube, this is Tater Films, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a video from a camcorder that uses cassettes onto your computer. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a USB cable that connects your camcorder to your computer. Uh, you could, I don't really know what kind of camcorders you, what kind of camcorder you use. You might have a different one than me, but if you go to Best Buy and bring your camcorder and show the some guy at Best Buy, I bet he'll uh, be able to tell you which kind of USB cord you need. Um, okay, first, okay, after that, after you get the cam camcorder plugged in through the USB cable, you have to turn it on, turn the camcorder on, and set it to the playback feature and rewind it all the way to the part you want to start recording your video at. All right. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows Movie Maker first. You're going to go to File, Capture Video, and you're going to select what kind of the camcorder you're using, and you're going to go to Audio Device and USB Audio Device. So you're going to want to click on that, but I can't right now because I'm recording this video and it'll mess it up, but you're going to want to go to USB audio device because that's your camcorder and it's going to start recording the audio from the video you recorded so yeah you go do that then you uh, just give it a file name you're generally going to want this quality but other settings I don't know who uses this uh, you might want to screw around with it but this is just default and it's recommended and it's probably your best bet all right, uh, right. What you're gonna want to do now is, uh, you're gonna want to press Start Capture, and then press Play on your camcorder, and then press Pause at the part you want to stop at, and then press Stop Capture. So it goes Start, Play, Pause, Stop. If that makes sense. So. Yeah, you always want to press start capture before you start playing the video because it can get out of sync sometimes and it's just easier. So after you have your captured file, you're going to press finish and shut up. Uh, and you're going to want to just, you're free to edit it or whatever. And mine doesn't have the audio because I'm talking to the microphone right now and I, it would just mess it up. So it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, that's how you do it on Windows Movie Maker. And on Sony Vegas, it's pretty much the same thing as Movie Maker, and it's a lot easier. You just go to Capture Video, or if you want a shorter way to do that, you can uh, one sec. You can just go to this little icon. It's the Capture Video icon. It has a picture of a camera and USB cable coming out of it. It's right like above your media bin, so it's pretty easy to get to. So this works pretty much the same as uh, Movie Maker. You just press capture video first, and then you press play on your camcorder. And then you go to you pause it, and then you stop on this. And this is very useful because it, it shows you how like long the video is, how many frames you dropped, uh, how much FPS there is. That's just one of the reasons I like Sony Vegas way more than Movie Maker. Uh, but that's another story. Yeah, so, oh, and uh, if you have more, if you have like a microphone and your camcorder plugged in at the same time, you're going to want to go up to audio and uh, click on the USB audio device feature because uh, sometimes it likes to take audio from the microphone and not the video that you're trying to record right now. So you're just going to want to press the USB audio device, but I won't do that right now. So then after you've recorded your clip on uh, so Vegas you can just go down to your media bins and it's right there for you to edit first and then you press play and yep that's it hopefully this helped you thanks for watching my video yay